In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. O oh God, may you hasten the advent of your Savior, grant him health and victory, put us among the best of his supporters and those sparing no effort on his path. No doubt, the invasion and transgression of Russia and Ukraine is a great event and a run-up to greater events to happen. Once again, and for several times, I should strongly denounce Russia's attack and invasion on Ukraine. I previously told you about some aspects of the plot to change the world's political map and restoration of uh, the global hegemony with uh, U.S., Russia, and China in coordination. I.e., the great wave of human awakening that had started made them panicked, and they realized the wave would soon cover the entire world. So, they assembled and made the decision in which Russia would invade Ukraine, China would attack Taiwan, and the U.S. would invade Iran. That is, they would get rid of their key concern and in the meantime become dominant. If we review the world in our minds, when this occurs, there will be no place where someone would object. <coughs> Today, fortunately, with the epical participation and heroic resistance of the people of Ukraine, the implementation of that plot and its subsequent stages against the nations have been facing serious obstacles. The great Iranian nation praises the honorable resistance of the nation of Ukraine vis -a -vis assaults and occupation and will stand by them. I have no doubt that the Russian people also oppose the expansionist and anti-human war. Any form of excuses made up to justify a war, assault, and killing of the Ukrainian people is strongly slammed from the standpoint of humanity and ethics and will be chronicled as participation and support for war crimes and genocide. The plotting and coordination by the U.S., Russia, and China in the plan to attack Ukraine, supposing the country would surrender early enough, and then China's invasion on Taiwan and the U.S. invasion on Iran is condemned from the standpoint of independent nations. The main elements among European leaders, having known about the anti-human plot, were dissatisfied with it, considering certain historical reasons and also the great political, economic, cultural and security repercussions it would cause. But due to weakness and incapability in this issue, like many other cases, they succumbed to and became puppets of the Americans, which is something beneath the dignity of the prominent continental Europe and the wise and freedom-seeking European nations. The invasion showed that if Europe do not go back to the reasonable path of law, humanity and rational order, a hapless fate might await them and irreparable circumstances could unfold. The wise and freedom-seeking people of Europe, along with the people of US, China and Russia, should in company of all the world nations create a huge national and universal movement and withstand this invasion in order to show that the era of avarice, warmongering and hegemony has come to its end. As the joint plot by the U.S., Russia, and China in invading Ukraine has not pushed on as they had expected, 
Amid and proportionate with the demand of the American people and other nations, the U.S. government was forced to take some measures in order to mislead and claim innocent. European leaders should grab the opportunity and given their ethical and human responsibilities, as well as their legal duties vis-à-vis the nations of Europe and the whole world, stand up for justice and wipe out all satanic manifestations and carry out their historical responsibility, especially regarding the bloods of tens of millions of innocent people shed during the First and Second World Wars. They need to realize that the Third World War is a greedy mind that Satan is playing for mankind. With the awakening of humans and the universal solidarity, such an immense event will not happen, and the huge wave of awareness, freedom, love and peace will soon cleanse the earth from the filth of Satans depicted in human forms. The blatant invasion of Russia and Ukraine and the war of inequality and cowardice imposed on the men, women, kids and elderly of Ukraine showed that the current international order is incapable of safeguarding security and protecting people's lives and human rights and that the claim of American liberal democracy is not but a cover-up for the untamed totalitarianism of capitalism. And therefore, the heroic resistance of the noble nation of Ukraine, amid the awakening and support of people worldwide, needs to be turned into a big chance for changing the power equations and transforming international mechanisms in order to value human dignity and excellence, the World Charter of Human Rights, and securing universal peace and peaceful coexistence. The widely denounced invasion is not only a blatant oppression on the Ukrainian nation, but also damage to the credit of the great Russian nation and serious harm to the future politics, economy, culture and security of the country. Adopting anti-human policy, enforcing despotism and dictatorship, and imposing a subversive war is dire cruelty and irreparable loss for both nations, while its aftermath in the long run will indeed be more costly for the Russian people. I call on Mr. Putin to quickly stop the war and and not let his name be recorded among history's big criminals and be historically cursed by the world people. Happiness of the Russian people is an expansion of their complete freedoms and bringing about true democracy, growth, and development for the country, and expanding ties with all the world nations. Huge expenditures on production of weapons of mass destruction, innovation in more lethal weapons, and maintaining satanic policies in arms race for which vast resources of that country are spent, being made at the cost of stopping the trend of people's life and welfare, and their lagging behind, basically kills hope for the future of that country and great nation. For the same token, the desire to return to the Tsar or Communist Empire is detrimental to the interests of that great nation and all the world people. Such a desire is nothing but a totalitarian dream and never has the potential to come true. The world of human beings today and the bright future will never give in to satanic policies for monopoly of power and wealth by a minority to rule the world. The outstanding Russian nation cannot feel honorable about power of weapons and potential for killing and crime. 
Like all other nations, they are also willing to play a greater role in expansion of peace and coexistence among various ethnicities and nations at national, regional, and universal levels, and see their happiness in a world which is full of friendship, peace, and cooperation as well as in enjoying a better life. I hope that the dear people of Russia, whom I consider as my sisters and brothers, do their best to stop the chariot of war, killing, invasion, and crime. The Iranian nation, with its long and bright reputation, and relying on its amazing historical heritage and public respect in safeguarding human rights and in following the divine role model Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and in loyalty to the contents of the Charter of Human Rights of Cyrus the Great, its historical and everlasting leader, hereby openly slams war and invasion on the territory of Ukraine as an independent country and assumes no excuses for such an anti-human act. The great Iranian nation, who has itself experienced the deep wounds of war, invasion and occupation of its territory throughout history and over the past decades and centuries, is standing by the people of Ukraine amid this blatant invasion with belief in the genuine principles of freedom and justice, loving high ethical values and respecting pure human feelings, and by appreciating the inherent honor of mankind from any ethnicity, race, color, language, sect and religion. The Iranian nation hails their epical participation and resistance and prays for their victory over the invaders. The Iranian nation is asking God to stop the hegemonic from furthering their expansionist policies and that the Almighty restores the sweet flow of life among all the world people and the two great nations of Ukraine and Russia by the war to end. And last but not least, I once again praise the resistance of the nation President Zelensky and other sympathetic officials of Ukraine tell each and every of them about the friendship and prayers of the Iranian nation. And victory is not but from God, the mighty and the wise. God bless you all.